Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia, Game Show Edition. So what's the title of this game show? I don't, I don't have a title. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. Trivia Challenge? <laughs> no, it can't be Trivia Challenge. Uh, go ahead and introduce Matt, I'll think of one. Uh, so sitting here today, you, you've re heard us reference Matt E.G., Matt Gerler, Aaron Gerber's brother. So Matt, why don't you go ahead and say a little introduction about yourself? What's going on? My name's Matt Gerber, Aaron Gerber's brother. S sound just like him. <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a title for this trivia challenge. What is it? Episode twenty, bringing sexy back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Mr. Host. Okay, so um, before, usually on our trivia challenges, we like to jump right in, but oh, yeah. we actually want to talk about a huge uh, treasure trove we found yesterday. I had text Brad or called him, I think Friday, and I said, you want to come check out this yard sale? This guy's going to be selling Nintendo stuff. And of course, Brad's like, yeah. So I say, Brad says, what time should I be over there? I said, oh, 7.30. The, the garage sale starts at 8.30. We're going to get there early because it was in Folsom. I uh, called Brad at 7.27. Like, where are you? I was like, oh, I'm just not leaving my house. So he didn't show up to my house until like 7.59. 7.59. <laughs> yeah. I had to get gas. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, I need to go to the ATM. I like, oh. But, uh. It was a good thing we went to ATM because we did have to get more money out from that guy because he knew what he was wheeling and dealing. Uh, we ended up getting to the yard sale about 8.24. Yeah. And, and he, he didn't have any of the Nintendo stuff out, so it was fine that I was there. Remember what he brought out first? He's like, here's my Nintendo stuff. And it was a bo what was it, a box full of what? It was the Nintendo 64. <laughs> 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 and we're like... You said you had games. He's like, oh, you guys are the collectors. I'm like, yeah, we're the collectors. <laughs> and so uh, he started bringing out all his NES games, Super NES, Genesis. No, he didn't have Genesis. And in '64, and it was just like instant boner. Dude, when I when I opened up that NES tub that he had, that rivaled our collection. But he only had about a quarter of what we had. But what he had. It was some shit. I was like, holy shit, what, what is this? He had this game for N Nintendo called Mega Man Ultra. What? And I was like, what is this? I was holding my head like my mind was my mind was getting blown. I was like, what is this? This is the first time in life my mind was getting blown. You got hecka excited. <laughs> and, and, and he was like, it, it's, mega, it's a port that a fan made. It's a fan made game like, you know, the Earthbound we have. Uh, mother. mother, mother one, and it's a mod modded game. It works on the Nintendo, and it's Mega Man too. But the background is like Zelda, Metroid scenery, like each different level instead of the stage. It's a different game scenery. I wonder if it has different music. I don't know, but when he told me that, I was like, Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was like holding my head still. I was like, I gotta have this game. He really was holding his head, <laughs> and I was looking through his stuff and. Uh, first, he brought out the Nintendo 64 stuff, and Brandon's like, I don't really see anything. And I was like, how can you not see this stuff? He, I, I was like, do you not look on your Nintendo <laughs> Hunter app? He had Ogre Battle, he had Harvest Moon, he, well, Brandon knew Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. And, and that said, I think Harvest Moon is worth something. Yeah, I was like, dude, Ogre Battle's here, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. So we started pulling all the stuff we wanted, then he looked at the Super Nintendo game. Of course, he only pulled out the Zelda stuff. <laughs> he had a Link to the Past in box. With in his, his box. Oh, his instruction man. manual. He, but he's like, I'm not going to give up any Mario or Zelda stuff because my tib will, kid will throw a fit. Yeah, right, your kid. Your kid. <laughs> your bullshit. I, I was watching his kid at the yard sale selling pretzels. I was like, that kid don't know nothing about no video games. <laughs> so... Brandon pulled out all the Zelda stuff, and I started looking through Death and Return of Superman, uh, High Dollar Cart right there, Blackthorn you pulled out, Blackthorn, I pulled out Act Razor 2, okay, uh, Act Razor 2, we found, um, what other, was that all the Super Nintendo games we saw? I saw Earthworm Gem 1 and 2, but we didn't go for no. those, and then so came the Nintendo Tub, 
we pulled out a bunch, a bunch of Nintendo games because we kind of wanted to get a price and then put them back to kind of bargain with them. And we pulled out Contra, Super C, games we already had that, that are worth so many but not as much as the others. Like $8,000. I did. I really thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was worth heck it was only worth like two bucks. And then he pulled out the the Game Boy games, and we pulled out all. He had like two Pikachu, Pokemon games, the yellow versions. He had Emerald. Yeah, so we had all these uh, Pokemon games. Why is it? And so we finally got all of the games we wanted bundled together. We haggled them down. We got. I think we, we spent 140. Yeah. And we got Ogre Battle 64. Well, you saw the pictures. If you if you're a fan of us on uh, at Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia on Facebook, we posted the pictures that we found, and our travel tre tre uh, treasure hunting boner level hardness was actually beyond ten. It was squirting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got Blackthorn. We've got Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Black Emerald. Uh, Over Battle sixty four. Death and Return of Superman. Harvest Moon 64. No, we didn't. We didn't get Harvest Moon? No. Uh -huh. Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Oh, yeah. And, um... Super Metroid. Super Metroid. And also the Metroid alt version cover for Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Which is amazing. I never thought I'd find it, but I did. And he was like, uh, Metroid, you get four... You, you get six dollars for that if you sell it online. I could have grabbed it. Here's the original Metroid. There's the alt cover. So sick. <laughs> that, that, that old cover is tight. And, and it, I think it's the same game, but it's just different yeah. cover art. Yeah, it's just a different cover. Like, they re-released it. Yeah. So then after that, we were like, we can't stop now. We've got to go searching. Let's, go, let's just drive around and see different yard sales. We went back to my area to drive around. Uh, we wanted to check out this thrift store, the Five and Dime. Which I've got a pretty funny story. I, actually, I'm glad we brought it up. The first time I went to this thrift store, I asked one in straight up, said, "You guys have any video games?" They said, "No, but we have some comic books over there. I know they're worth a lot more than what we have marked. They were tore up to hell, shredded." So, Archie. Yeah, Archie, and just weird independent comics. The ones you find at the dollar store, Ninja Hamsters. Yeah, <laughs> Ninja Hamster site. <laughs> so. I'm about to leave and I see us, he has some DVDs. Uh, Alright, let me check out these DVDs. So, nothing there. I go into the back room. They have this huge back room with like silverware and toys and car, uh, board games. So then I go back there to check it out and I hear this commotion going in the front of the store. And I, I'm kind of listening like, this is interesting. There's a drunk dude who just walked off the street and sat down on the couch in the small front area room. And I'm like, I like where this is going. So he's a homeless dude, uh, drunk. I'm looking at the VHSs, and the owner, who's like some rockabilly uh, 50s guy, tattoos and everything, the drunk guy says, Do you know how the in why the Indians were here first? And the guy's like, he was taken aback. He's like, What? Do you know why the Indians were here first? And the, the owner's like, yeah, he was trying to come up with some scientific answer. The guy cuts him off and says, because they had reservations. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there just biting my tongue, trying not to laugh. And then he says, what name do you give something hanging on a wall? And the guy's like, I don't know. He's like, art. You get it? <laughs> and he's telling these horrible jokes, and I'm sitting there busting up. And so I just decided to walk out after a few of those jokes, but it was hilarious. Yeah, so so we got our treasure hunting bug, and we were like, I didn't have to be at my weekend job for another couple hours, so I was like, let's go find some more yard sales. So I spent all my money there. We didn't stop and get more money out yet. I think Brandon was going to. But we were moneyless, so we went up to this yard sale, and there was this big purple stuffed dog. Looked like the the girl heaven dog from All Dogs Go to Heaven. Um, Na Naja told uh, told me that it was from Clifford. It's one of the dogs from Clifford. Oh, is it yeah. the purple dog? Yeah. Okay, so Brandon saw. He's like, I need that dog, and I was like, I don't have any money, but I'm going to try to get it for you. 
So it, in my trunk, I had three bottles of Gatorade. <laughs> and I'm like, I was like, I'm going to pull a bore out. I'm going to try to barter. Uh -huh. So I took the Gatorade up there, still in the plastic uh, soda ring things. It, it was one of those small little eight packs. So I went up there and I said, can I have that dog? I have some Gatorade here. I'll trade you. It's hot today. How about it? And the mom's like, you need to ask her. He, she asked like her 18 year old daughter. And I look at her and I hold Gatorade up and I'm like shaking it like, it's going to be hot. You want cold Gatorade? And she's like, you could just have the dog. <laughs> and I was like, yes. And I didn't have to give up a Gatorade for it. So I got it for Brandon. Remember the signal we came up with when we were doing it ourselves? One of us would wait in the car. And we never used it. No, we didn't. And Brandon was all like, no, I don't want us both get out of the car. We could just signal each other if we see something good. I was like, okay, what's the signal? And he just made like a come here motion with his hand. I was like, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> we never used it, though. So then I went to the next uh, yard sale, feeling all high and mighty for my bartering techniques. And there's a lady there, older lady, and um, on the table was a sealed pack of Sacramento King playing cards from Cash Creek Casino for 50 cents. And I was like, excuse me, miss, how about I trade you one of these Gatorades for a pack of those cards? They're worth a dollar, and that's only 50 cents, so mm -hmm. kind of a no-brainer. And she's looking at me, and she she looks at the date, and I'm like they're not opened. I didn't put anything in them, and uh, um, so she's looking at them. They don't expire till 2014. Okay, and she takes the whole thing. <laughs> and I'm like, I only said one, but I didn't want to be a douche about it. So I was like, oh, I guess she bartered harder than I did. <laughs> I got the pack of playing cards. She gave Logan a free New Testament orange Bible. <laughs> And she said, told him he could have that, and I was like, oh, I just traded right three new Gatorades for a pack of 50 cent was that, cards. Was that when Logan first started complaining about being thirsty? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, he, he was thirsty, and we were like, okay, the next person we'll go to will ask if you could have some water. And he said, okay, as long as they're not Asian. <laughs> And I was like, why? What's wrong if they're Asian? What did he say? He said, Be because if you talk to them, they may blow you up or, or, oh, us, or give you poison water. Yeah, it gave you poison water. I don't know if he was thinking that because of ninjas or what. <laughs> North Korea. But I, I find Asians to be very trustworthy. I've only crossed the paths with a few disgruntled Asians that I don't trust. But I don't know where he got that from, maybe from school. <laughs> And then so we the, net, the last stop we made was to a magic um, guy was selling magic the gathering cards. Brandon was acting all dumb, like yeah I'm just looking for land, some like enchanted land, some old stuff. And the guy had a few things. And when Brandon's talking like, to the guy, his PayPal thing goes off because he put up po uh, Pokemon and you heard in his pocket kaching kaching like he was selling shit on eBay. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was when. You get an offer from eBay or someone buys you on the eBay app that they buy from you, it goes ka -ching! And Brandon's like sitting there just going ka in his pocket trying to act dumb <laughs> like you don't resell stuff. Uh, so that was pretty funny. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Best treasure hunting excursion so far. So I know we're not doing treasure this week. We're saving it for 21, but I just had to share this that I got off eBay. Is this the one you got for eleven dollars? Yeah. I thought eBay items were, were banned. I didn't think we could buy stuff on eBay. Oh, and um, after this, I, I might I'm gonna have some words with you, Nick. You may want to get in between us because there might be a fight that breaks out. <laughs> after <laughs> what? After I give, after I show you these, after we do this. <laughs> yeah, the WWE cha Night of Champions inspired me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Marvel Annual cards. Yep. Cool. That's awesome. Why would I get in a fight with no, you? No, after this, it's something not the opposite or something else. Okay. Are we opening these? We can. I guess we'll open them after. Okay. 
Okay, cool. So, but that doesn't really count towards treasure. No. Okay. No, that's just some cool stuff I found. Oh, okay. Um, so, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle on Platinum. <laughs> <laughs> no? I don't know what that means, but I know <laughs> Not right now. Oh. Episode 21, we could do it. Okay. Pokemon battle. Okay. I'm, I'm thoroughly not prepared. I only got three Pokemon. Can we do a three Pokemon battle? I'll give you two weeks to raise some more Pokemon. <laughs> You should like film a montage of him getting ready for the battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rocky Four, you're yeah. on fire. <laughs> Need a hero. <laughs> Short circuit too. Yeah. <laughs> At least five. At least five. Yeah. Can we go and do like level fifty? It bumps the Pokemon down to level fifty. Like you, the you battle tower, and we get three. I don't want to do three. I want to do at least five. <sighs> okay. So get no uh, legendaries. Of course not. That's no semi legendaries. What's a semi legendary? As elf. You could do semi legendary. They're legal in battle. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They're tournament legal. Yeah, anything legal in battle tower except for Tyranitar is legal in battle. Except for Tyranitar. Yeah, since he evolves on fifty five. You could use him though. I don't care. Cause I know that's one of your mains. Okay, so two weeks. I don't even know where our platinum is. <laughs> she better find it. Can I use my uh, Pokemon White? Because I transferred all my Pokemon to that one. Yeah, I'll have to transfer them to then. Okay. Why, why am I going to get in between you? Why am I going to fight you over that? Because it's a ballsy thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm a little over here. I was listening to the Pokemon theme song uh, from Power Glove, and I was like, that inspired me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I'll do my best, but I know you've been raising Pokemon for like months. <laughs> and I only raised like my three main ones and that's it. Bringing Sexy back. The rules of the game are simple. You will both call out your name or your true name, Brad, Torment, King, Nick, uh, to buzz in for the answer. There are six categories. Activities, which is based on the movie Step Brothers. I, uh, had them, well, I didn't have them watch it. They, I said, you guys could watch it to uh, bone up on it. Uh, and we only could watch it once. And I, I, I've only watched it once. I only watched it once also. Sports. Legends, which are WWF superstars. Music. Potent potables. And Fight It Out, which are boss battles from, from video games. So, we'll go ahead and roll a die to see who gets to go first. Let's click on that six. Kane rolls a three. You can roll for me. Torment not being in the spirit rolls a four. So, he gets to go first. <laughs> now, I do have to explain Legends works like a match game type. So, I'll give the first clue. If the person gets it on the first try, for example, if they get the number three on the first try, that's three times three is nine points. If uh, then, if you guys don't get it, a second clue will be given. Oh, okay. So it'll be two times three, and then if you have to waste the third one, it'll be three times. Wow, that's one. crazy. Yep. Are there going to be questions at the end? Yes, there are. Okay. Uh, and I'll go in and say that. Uh, the person who has the lowest amount of points gets to choose the final question category. Do you have something to keep score? What was that? Do you have something to keep score? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> On your phone? <laughs> yes. Show <laughs> 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 points to a game show. <laughs> <laughs> Demoralizing. <laughs> okay, Brad, you get to choose first. Um, I will choose sports for one. Sports for one. The official term for a birdie in badminton is. Okay, uh, shuttlecock. <laughs> I think. That is correct. <laughs> I was thinking golf. <laughs> I was too when he said birdie. Um, sports for two. 
In order to win a sumo match, you must get your opponent out of the ring or do this. Torment. Pick him up and drop him. That's acceptable. Uh, have your opponent touch the ground with anything but their foot. So I guess if you're dropping him, they will hit the ground. Uh, let's do sports for three. The New Orleans Hornets have changed their name recently to this stupid looking guy. <laughs> Pelican. That's hella retarded. <laughs> Pelican. Uh, sports for four. In golf, this term is used for scoring three under par. Tournament. Eagle. <laughs> that is incorrect. Oh. Wow. There's a birdie, there's an eagle. Uh, the only other thing would be a hole in one, but I don't know if I want to risk it. What do I, what's my score? Four. And it's a 4.1? I'm not going to risk it. The correct answer is... Albatross. It's an albatross, huh? Yeah. Uh, I, I said I wasn't going to guess it, but I, I figured it out right at the end. Albatross or double eagle. Damn it. And then a uh, four under part is called a condor. Oh, wow. Wow. That's interesting. That's good to know, I guess. Damn it. All right, uh, stick with it for five. Wow, it's a good name of San Francisco Giants. <laughs> In soccer, this occurs when the referee has stopped play because of one of the following. A serious injury to a player, interference by external party, or a defective ball. Nope. No, the correct answer is a dropped ball. Mm. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure I completely understand the category, but I'll try Legends for one. Okay, so I'm going to read the first clue, and then if you guys ring in and get it right, it's three times the amount of the card. So every other clue he gives it brings the points down. So the, there's a maximum of... Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Clue one. Awesome Shades. Torment. Bret Hart. You are out. You cannot answer anymore. So these are these are all WWE. Like yes, the Bret Hart has awesome. He shit. does. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for the next clue. No, no. There's trick questions. Uh, number two, he was a King of the Ring champion, which Bret Hart also was. I'm gonna ask for another. The madness. I'm sorry. I'm 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 just barely getting into WWE. I don't know. The correct answer is Macho Man. I knew it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maddie, yeah. knew it. Yeah, that's Kanye West. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so I guess Kanye West had the reign of Macho Man. <laughs> <and Savage. laughs> Legends for two. The first clue, gold medalist. Kane. Kurt Angle. Yes, that's no. correct. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been him or Brock. Did Brock Lesnar win gold medal? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's Six points. Shit. Ten to zero. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but this Legends one is going to be a lot of points. Stay with uh, Legends for three. <clears throat> the first clue, Money in the Bank champion. That's too tricky. Yeah, that's way too tricky. The second clue, Straight Edge. Twelve. Ooh, Rush Ambo for it. Rock crushes yeah. scissors. Um, he said he's straight edge. Yes. CM Punk. That is six <laughs> points. Oh, that sounds like seven. <laughs> so I'm sixteen now. Uh, Legends for four. Dressed up as a doctor. Hold on. Torment. Stone Cold Steve Austin. That is correct. Ooh. Ooh. Twelve, 12 points. He's free rolling because he had zero. He could afford to do that. I answer that. I go back down to four, right? That's oh, so you, it even it, it hurts you. Oh, wow. That's four ways. Okay. It should be 16 12, right? Yep. Music for one. This is a long one. 
finish the lyric. Every challenge along the way with courage I will face. I will battle every day to claim my rightful place. Come with me, the time is right. There's no better team. Arm in arm, arm in arm, we'll win this fight. No. I don't know. The correct answer is, it's always been our dream. Where's that from? Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty savage without the Pokemon, huh? Without yeah, it the, is. It's like, oh man. Music for two. And there's still Legends for five. She's hidden. Yeah, I know. Who is quoted in saying this? And I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> it's not a very good quote. <laughs> you didn't have time to look it up. <laughs> Do you know how it feels to be the same? King. Um, Dave Mustaine. That is correct. I was going to guess that too. Do you know what it feels like to be the second biggest metal band of all time? Yeah. Two points. I almost guessed that just because I, th I had a feeling it was going to be Dave Mustaine. <laughs> he said that to Metallica, right? Yeah. Uh, music for three. This song plays during the defeat of the twins in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and it's sung by Sex Bob. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie since we saw it in Philadelphia. <laughs> you don't have the soundtrack? No. Oh, it's Threshold. Mm. Uh, music for four. Who sings the opening song in Step Brothers? Fuck. <laughs> I know the song, I just don't know who sings what, it. What's the song? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the song What point is this for? Four. Uh, how many points do I have? 12 to 18. God damn it. What the fuck is the song? Are you talking about like when they get introduced to each other? It's like they're from the beginning. It, 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 they're at the wedding. They're at the wedding. It's like the whole um, beginning where the dad and the mom meet. Okay. Going and um, Brandon's jerking off to the yoga instructor. I I, I want to guess, but I don't know if it's right or not. Uh, I'm not guessing. So put a time clock. Put a clock on on torment. Five. I, I'm not gonna guess. Vampire weekend. Oh, okay. I was gonna say toe the wet sprocket. <laughs> How do we a stupid What's guess? the song? I don't, want to I don't know the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> I also know it's Vampire Weekend. Mm -hmm. Music for Fire. How come that wasn't under the... I'm not going to even ask. It's fine. <laughs> That's a bonus. <laughs> this local band from Utah no. has... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Local band from Utah? <laughs> <laughs> There's actually two hints to this. This local band from Utah has great songs such as Inside I Quietly Bleed, One Night at Devil's Rock, and This is Suicide. Hint. I had also obtained this CD and burnt a copy for several people. Second hint. Influenced by the Misfits, named after one of their Turn songs. Up. You want to know the band's name? Clock. Can I bounce out of my guess? No. <laughs> you you already ringed in. Five. I'm, I'm not going to guess because that is not the right answer. <laughs> die, monster, die. I wasn't going to guess, so it's okay. Yeah. Uh, is it still me? Yep. Um... Let's find out what this potent potables is for one. <laughs> These are dice and Mexican legends. Yeah. World dice? Just one. Die? Just one. What happened to your freaking phone app where you can roll the dice? I don't want to switch in between. <laughs> Lose track. So you, you did this one? Yeah. Uh oh. Choose. You or your opponent. I have to choose me or my opponent. I don't even know what I'm picking. No. Uh, me. You must speak in an accent of a character created by Sasha Barra Cohen for the next two questions. If you fail, lose six points. Yes, you may.
this is the point in the show where we're going to ask questions to our contestants. Torment. What's up? <laughs> what do you think of the WWE Night of Champions? I don't have to speak in an accent, do I? Okay. I thought it was pretty cool. What was your favorite match? Uh, probably the 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 tag team match between the the prime time players and the Shield. Kane. Yes. <laughs> what do you think of the Night of the Champions? I like. <laughs> what was your favorite match? I like the prime time players. <laughs> Yeah, there's a guy, he does a thing with the mind and the arms. I like him. He has a, uh, the black face. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate face. <laughs> That's for it. For you that don't know. Okay, Kane, pick your next question. <laughs> Is this a trick? <laughs> no, you have to stay like this for the next two questions. I, I like putting vulnerable. <laughs> Curse. If you are in the lead, lose five points. If your opponent <laughs> is in the lead, <laughs> gain five points. If there's a tie, I corn dog Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this kind of move. <laughs> Kane loses five points. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, find it out. For, for, for long. In Final Fantasy 4, which king and queen can you fight to obtain their power? Torment. King and Queen Evelyn. Nedja's parents. Oh no. <laughs> Leviathan and Ashura. <laughs> you already said Ashura. You're from the Evelyns. It's probably mostly my Bora accent. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't I can't take that back. Okay. And that's a dead ball for dropped ball for Nick. Oh, because I okay. Yeah. It's not mine, it's Nick's turn. Yeah. Has it been two questions yet? <laughs> <laughs> so do I get a point or whatever? Or is, it, is that just a punishment? I just, just had just to... punishment. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, fight it out for two. This reoccurring boss in Final Fantasy VI claims to be a great tormentor. Did, did I get yeah, it? Yeah, you got it. Um... Ultros? That is incorrect. Can you repeat the question? This reoccurring boss in Final Fantasy VI claims to be a great treasure hunter. How many points do I have? Uh, seven. And Nick has? Eleven. And it's a two-point question? Yeah. Fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna guess. Siegfried. Okay. He's recurring. Mm hmm. Found a few times. Uh, fight it out for three. If you were to have a conversation with this boss, he might sound something like this. Please do not bring leaves to fight me. I may have to blow them away. I don't know. I don't know. Airman. What? Because <laughs> he's weak against the Leafs. Yeah. Oh, Which you? <laughs> this level 20 boss has bad stuff that says you are roasted and King. eaten. Plutonium dragon. That is correct. Uh, fight it up for five. In Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen, who releases Demundra? King of the Underworld with his own blood upon his defeat. Don't know. I don't know either. Rashidi, the Dark Wizard. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Might as well get through these potent portables. For three? Yeah, for three. Okay. 
You are you guys are gonna play rock paper scissor. Okay. The winner obtains two points, but <laughs> the loser gives up two points to the opponent, meaning you steal two points, or you lose two, two points and they gain two more. So that's a four point swing, basically. Tie. You guys only get one shot, so if there's a tie, you both gain two points. There's a caveat to this. If the person lost and they had no points to give, Brad gets a corn dog from me. That's not right. Okay. I lost. Kane lost. 11 to 13. Who's in the Kane league? Kane is in the league. Okay. Um, potent potables for four. Choose. You or Kane roll a die. I roll a die. One through three. Gain three points. Four through six, lose two points. You lose two points. Of course. Potent potables. I've lost nine points on this category already, so don't, I don't want to hear about that. And I had to talk like Borat, and I didn't get anything for it. <laughs> oh, this is the alpha battle. Alpha battle. This is for both of you. Whoever wins the alpha battle gets seven points. What is the greatest letter of the alphabet and why? <laughs> Convince me. You have one minute to come up with your answer. Use your time wisely. Who goes first? You got a minute. Who, who goes first? I'll decide that when the time comes. <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so you're saying we both have a minute like what's going on right now? Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna go with B, B personally because, because that's the last letter. He's, last he's, he's he's fighting my argument right now, so basically he's fighting for me. He started talking. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with B. You know, Brad, Brandon, Bartholomew, all very very strong names, very masculine. It is bad. Bret Hart. Think of all the great gentlemen who whose names start with B. It's a very very strong letter. Um. Um, there's bear naked, bears in general, very, very strong beast. Another B word, by the but way. There's also B, which stands for Bush, which is not good. Bush is the most suckiest rock band ever. I'm gonna have yeah, to but there's it. also Bush, like a vagina's Bush, and I personally like Bush. I don't really care for the, the whole shade <laughs> phenomenon. I don't think Brandon likes Bush, though. Bush sucks vagina wise and music wise. It's going to have to go with T for me for treasure because that's what we base the show off of. Treasure hunting for nostalgia has all the fine memories of us going treasure hunting. The score we picked up on Saturday was one of the best moments in treasure hunting history. I kind of think that T just wants to be a B. I mean, look, Thornbush. <laughs> we know an individual named Mike Thornburg. Mm. Who was also kind of standoffish and dickish when he was in football with us. That an argument against T. Thank you very much. Oh, but it's cl yeah. it's clearly B. That's the obvious answer. I've heard enough. <laughs> the correct answer I was looking for was Z. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no punishment. No, but uh, I'm going to have to give it to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Why was Z the correct answer? Because I like Z for Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> okay. 18 to 9. No. Logical. Uh, what is activities for one? During the wedding scene, we find that Brandon was fired from this job. Can I? Am I in? Yeah, in. Pet Smart. Okay. Uh, activities for B. <laughs> When Brandon and Dale first meet, what nicknames must they have? Oh, he got it. Dale Doback wanted to be known as Dragon. Brandon Huff wanted to be known as Nighthawk. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Legends for five. Oh, man. Curveball. Could be a 15 point swing right here. Degeneration X. Nope. Too broad. Tag Team Champion. 
the badass. No. Billy Gun. Billy Gun. I knew it. Activities for three. <clears throat> when Dr. Doback pulls up to the infamous fight scene, what weapons are being wielded by Dell, Brennan, and Mrs. Doback? Torment. Mrs. Doback has a hose. <laughs> and there's also a shovel and a golf club. That is false. Ugh. I'm not going to guess. I know the a bicycle was involved at some point. A baseball bat and a bicycle. That's what they <laughs> first started fighting with. Then they switched to the golf club and the bat. Uh, activities for four. Why does Dale punch Derek in the face? Torment. Because he provokes him. He says, you want me to punch, you want to punch me in the face right now, don't you? That is correct. He asked for it. Forgot who Derek was for a second. <laughs> Nineteen to twelve. Oh man. Okay. Last one. Which specific item is printed on the Dell on Dell's curtains that hang in his treehouse during the confrontation with Derek? It's two words. I don't remember. No, 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 no. I don't even know. Electric guitars. <laughs> Final question. We have Brad with 12, Nick with 19, so he gets to pick the final question category. The first one, Generals of Battle. Or the second one, Finish Him. <laughs> uh, finish Him. The person who has the lowest score gets to pick first. Wait, what? Greg gets to pick since he has the lowest score. Oh, I thought you said... I, yeah, you yeah, yeah, I thought you said he gets to pick. Oh. Um, generals of Battle. These are worth three points each. Okay. You will have 30 seconds to come up with all of your answers for Generals of Battle. Should we have pencils down or... It doesn't matter. As soon as you start talking, yeah. we're, we're going? Mm hmm Okay. Generals of Battle. In Ogre Battle, name as many unit leaders as you can. And that is time. I can't, I can't remember any of their names. So we'll go back to... What's the freaking wizard's name? Warren? Warren. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. So we'll go ahead with Nick's answers. Gilbert, Lars, Debonair, I, Witch I, and the Wizard. I, I wrote those down hoping I would eventually remember their names, but I couldn't. So, nine points. So you have 28 points to Brad's 12. Yeah, or, geez. yeah, to his 11, actually. What's the witch's name? Deneb. Deneb. That's I have five. I don't even know if those even work. So even if you got all of them, I'd beat you by one. Not Warren, to kill the suspense. Tristan, Nev, Hero, and Ash. <laughs> Hero? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to write down my own name. <laughs> that would have worked. Oh, so, come on. <laughs> so you lose by one point, Brad. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Nick wins. My first victory. So we'll go ahead and draw some prizes here. To the loser. I came across some pretty rare cards. Remember when I asked to see your Dragon Ball deck earlier? Yeah. I had to make sure we didn't have these. They haven't come yet because they're coming from the Netherlands. Yeah. But I won them on eBay. What, I get to have this? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I could tie Android 20 Absorbing Drill Foil Limited. <laughs> <laughs> Love that card. Do you want to run two or three? Or do you run four at, for having an Android 20? Oh, I will run four. four. Oh. So you must play as Android 20? Of course. Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> and this is the second one. Oh, let me find my Android 20 absorbing drill so I can switch it It's pretty easy. It's pretty tight. Participation. That's how the world is today. Nice. Oh, all four, huh? That's cool. Yeah. That guy obviously didn't know what he had. He yeah. had to buy it now, it's on there. 
It's all foil hardware. Yeah, it's worth thirty bucks. Try it at least. Trading. Yeah. Try to foil limit my deck. So all, all the cards I get are foil. So I took out my common one that's not foil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tight. Cool. And this is for Nick. Mm -hmm. And packaging. Addressed to Brandon Bartholomew at <laughs> no. <laughs> Appears to be a t-shirt. What color is that? Like tan? Mm -hmm. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> a Borat t-shirt. This is very nice. <laughs> cool, thanks Brandon. Yep, you're welcome. It's tight. So now the punishment will commence, or do we want to open the cards first? No, we'll do the punishment. Oh, we could open the cards off there. Okay. Who's the movie lost? You did. <laughs> so, we lost. <laughs> so that would have been crazy if um, Nick got second place because he would have got Dragon Ball cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still gave him the shirt. <laughs> 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 Are we doing this in the backyard or the front yard? The backyard. You from what I read, you're probably going to vomit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you had a lot of mozzarella sticks. So you probably. So I think we should take this off air and we could just do the video. Alright. Well, that'll do it for episode 20 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brandon. Brad. This is Nick. Matt. Happy hunting, guys.